Is this the best 166 slash four millimeter titanium insert system available? You tell me. Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm FJJ here with PodiumArcher.com showing you the new four millimeter slash 166 titanium insert system. Anybody who's shot four millimeter arrows understands the pain in the arse that the insert systems and component systems can be. And it's largely because your entire point of your arrow sits out in front of the arrow, not inside the arrow. What we tried to make here is the most consistent system you could possibly come up with because you have to index inside to get that straight out here. The, the catch is this edge right here will want to go around any collar if it doesn't actually go up over it. So what I created was a two-piece system, been working on it for a little over a year, that steps into the adapter and goes over the arrow. So when you put it together, you end up with a relatively bulletproof system you glue it together as you go. They're separate pieces. Three different sizes of these to fit on all different sizes of arrows out there. One, uh, the E size is for 250 spine arrows and the really thick arrows like uh, Deep Six or whatever they call them now, the that full metal jacket, four millimeters, the, uh, the VAP SSs that have thicker walls, some of the 200 spine stuff. Uh, the F sizes are for 300 spine, which is your most commons. Uh, a good portion of the 350s and 400 spines that are in the heavier category, uh, heavier GPI. And then we have a G size, which covers some of the light, light sp stuff like the X impacts, small GPI, and uh, lighter spine arrows all the way up. So basically with three of these, you can cover pretty much every kind of 166 or four millimeter, whichever you wanna call it, because they all have the same internal size of dimension. So let's see how close we get on some of these overall weights over here. All right, so we're going to weigh out some of these and see what they weigh. I'm trying not to have them roll off the counter here because we're on a slight little lip here. So 56. 55.7. 56. 55.7. Six two. Six three. Six six. Nine. So so far our worst spread is four tenths, but there's only been one, I think, that got that high. So it's really more like three with the exclusion of one. That looks a little light. 55.9, there you go. Whenever you're weighing something, you want to leave it on there for at least five seconds and let the scale work its way out because they'll always move a little bit when it's settling down from having the weight put on it. Okay, so pretty much three tenths across the board with the exception of one. So we're going to go ahead and glue a couple of these on and see how well they spin on an arrow without squaring the front of the arrow. Just a stock arrow, no riffraff, no trying to make it perfect. Let's just see how it lines up because that kind of a system with a collar should help it line up. So in order to do that, I'm going to grab my hot gun, hot glue gun. Sorry, bud. Stick it on here. This part's kind of a little noisy, but I'm going to go ahead and insert a couple of these. This is the easiest way to insert an arrow if you ever want to be able to get the component back out. And I've had really good luck with these and this glue. We do sell it on the website. Speaking of selling stuff on the website, we do offer a promo code, coupon code MFJJ. will save you 10% on most things you buy on the website. So punch that in and check out, save yourself a little money. So I just like to heat this up until it gets tacky and then enough to have it start sticking here, and it's starting to stick. So we're getting close. A little more heat here, 
Beep, beep, beep. Don't need to put on a ton, just enough, and like that's good. Now, before I get too crazy, I'm just gonna set that on there. Gonna put the collar on the arrow. So that's kind of how this system works. I could have glued these together stock, but I decided not to. Make sure it's on all the way good. And then heat this up. And if you watch the hot glue, it'll go to almost a clear state. So it's like a little foggy right now. When it gets warm enough, it almost turns see-through, completely see-through. And that's when you know it's ready to, it's, it's soft and will move around completely when you go to install it. Still not quite there yet. There you go. You can like watch its exterior consistency start to shift. It doesn't look the same anymore. So twist it. If you can, pull it back out and then twist it back in again. Push it all the way on and then let it sit and cool. While we're waiting on that one, we'll do two other ones. Not exactly an exciting process, but oh, until you drop that. And this is just a $20 Harbor Freight heat gun, nothing fancy. Any heat gun should work. I would just encourage you to find one that you don't have to hold the trigger down on so you can set it on the counter like this for installing it yourself because it definitely makes life a lot easier. We used a propane torch forever in the shop until somebody showed me this. And this is just, it doesn't get as hot as quick, so it takes a little more time, but it's hands-free and you never burn yourself. When you're using a torch with hot glue, the hot glue will get so hot it'll like burn down into your tissue really hard if you touch it. So this has just been a, a great way to do it. And I will probably use a heat gun forever now. See how it's moving around on there really easy? That's liquidy enough. So as you put it in, twist it, pull it back out, put it back in, push it all the way down, and then let it sit until it cools completely. Okay, this first one should be cool enough. And the beauty of this is, like I said, if you just peel it off like that with your thumb until it pops loose, and then put that back on your hot glue, you didn't lose any extra. First time you shoot into a target, any residue will come off. So let's see how straight this works out to be. Uh, these are the wrong diameter points, but that's okay. These take a uh, 1764 or 5 millimeter point, not a 5 16 but we can still check our straightness here. Oh, she's been good. Let's see what this next one looks like. If it's cool enough yet. This is an Axis Long Range. First one was a VAP TKO. Put that little sucker back on there. Beauty, beauty. And then this is a uh, Platinum Kinetic Pierce. Kinetic Pierce? 
platinum kinetic pierce. Let's see what this does. Once again, you just roll it off, stick it back in there, use it on the next one. So now I can't emphasize enough, a system like this and an arrow like this, you really need to square the end of the arrow to get it to go on perfectly square because so much of the insert sticks out of the arrow. And that's a good square arrow with a good square spin. So it looks like it aligns well, holds well, and this little collar right here will stop the arrow from trying to go up around the insert when you hit something hard. Uh, you can't get a harder system that weighs less than this that I've been aware of, so maybe comment down below on if somebody else makes something that's actually lighter than this that still does this level of protection. Um, and comment down below on what you think about these products and other ones that we make. We are gonna be doing some pretty cool giveaways coming up in the near future. We're doing something different than last year. Hopefully you guys will like it. I don't wanna to drop too many hints about it, but it is coming soon. So keep paying attention. You're gonna see it on Instagram. You're gonna see it on YouTube. It's coming soon. Thanks for watching.